The Surface Laptop 4 is a brand new computer from Microsoft that is actually not too bad when it comes to a productivity machine. However, you know, a laptop by itself, while yes, you can use it and get plenty of work done, sometimes there's some little things that you can buy to make it even better. So what are those little things that you could buy to make it even better? Let's find out. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So I love accessory videos. Easily my favorite video to make, so let's get to it. This is my Surface Laptop 4. It's actually not too bad as far as a Windows productivity, like office work type computer goes. There are some issues, and we will fix some of those issues with these accessories. So let's get right to it. Also, we're recording this on May the 4th, so may the 4th be with you, because the obligatory Star Wars shirt. First up, in the things that I did not like about the Surface Laptop 4, the biggest thing was typing. So, to correct that, the first thing we're gonna talk about is a keyboard. Now, you don't necessarily have to get these specific accessories. What I'm really trying to break down is different kinds of things that you could use to make the laptop better. You don't necessarily need this specific keyboard, just a decent keyboard, but these are the ones that I purchased and the ones that I like. So this is the Logitech K470. Now what I really like about this is this isn't just the keyboard, it's actually paired with a mouse. Now this mouse I don't think is technically the Pebble, we've talked about the Pebble before. This is the M340 mouse, but what this does is it pairs immediately with the keyboard. So when you plug in the wireless dongle, you actually get connectivity for both the keyboard and the mouse all at once, which is something that I really like. You don't have to pair through Bluetooth separately, which I don't actually think you can pair with Bluetooth on these, which is kind of a negative on the Pebble when we're talking just the mouse. You can do Bluetooth and wireless, but here it's wireless for both. I don't actually really mind that as much for productivity, but this keyboard is actually really nice. You can already see from right here, one of the things that I like about the MacBook Air and that I like about the Surface Laptop is they've got a slight wedge shape to the body, and that makes it a little more comfortable to type on. So you can see here, my hands fit really well just on this keyboard, and listen to the keys. This is a really, really nice keyboard. I may actually start using this with my Apple stuff because I just love a good keyboard, and these keys feel they feel fantastic. I'm not necessarily the world's biggest fan of mechanical keyboards. I know that kind of makes me like the outlier in the YouTuber community, but I like a good, I just like a good keyboard that's not too clicky. It's kind of quiet because it drives me crazy to hear click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. And these feel really good. Pairs super easy. It's very light. The battery lasts in here like 36 months or some ridiculous thing like that. The mouse comes with it and it gives you full functionality and you don't have to worry about the crazy flex on the body of the Alcantara version of the Microsoft Surface Laptop 4. You can fix everything with just these right here. Highly recommended, highly recommended. Where am I gonna put this? We'll put this. One of the negatives though, if we're gonna be using the Surface Laptop 4 and we're gonna take up one of the spots for a wireless dongle is, there's only one USB port, so if I want anything else, we're kind of stuck, which makes that even better uh, because you get the two for one. Um, so we're gonna need some kind of dongles to get a little more functionality out of this. I don't mean to just bring up the negatives, but again, we're trying to fix some of the problems with the Surface with these accessories. And one of the problems is this does not have Thunderbolt. It has USB-C. So the dongles that we could get are a little lacking compared to some of the things that we can use for like a MacBook or another Intel-based laptop. This one, this is actually a brand new dongle that I bought from a company called Anker. You can see right here. Uh, so this is USB-C. Now it doesn't give you any additional USB-C, but it gives you three USB-A, you can see USB-A, 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 HDMI, which is probably the most important. But what I really like is it also has ethernet right here. Now I, I get a lot of comments when I talk about needing things like ethernet cables. All you youngsters call me crazy for needing ethernet. But I'm telling you, when you have critical work to get done, Wi-Fi can go down. It's gone down on me an awful lot. If I've got something critical that has to go up on my work cloud or something similar, I always plug in via ethernet. You don't get the option here. So this little dongle could save your life. And I just like, look how thin it is. Normally dongles, I didn't bring any other dongles out here, but normally they're like flat, they're squat. This one's tiny. It'll fit basically in any of the pouches or even in like a pen slot on a backpack or a bag. Kind of like this one too. And it's also got this really nice braided cable to it. Braided cables, they're just fancy. Like if you get braided cable, that automatically bumps it up like a point or two on the objectivity scale, right? But also you could get something like this. Now this is, I think this, 
when I looked it up, it cost the same amount as this. But this is the little dongle that Dell includes with their laptops, like the XPS 9700 or 9500. It's USB-C and it gives you USB-A and HDMI. But what I, I just like how small this is. I do think this, if you buy it separately, it's like 30 bucks, which is ridiculous, because can you hear this? It's made out of very cheap plastic and it does not feel super high quality, especially not $30 high quality. But I like accessories. When I need accessories, I like things that don't take up too much space. You know, in a perfect world, we wouldn't need any accessories. Like this would have all of the things you needed built right into it, but then we wouldn't, who, how could we make accessory videos if we didn't need accessories? That's blasphemy, Gary. So this one, it's expensive, but if you can find something else that's just as small, which will also give you USB-A and HDMI, I would recommend that. Okay, what else do we have? So let's talk a little bit more about ports. Um, something that I've started to do recently is, I have the one monitor that I use, it's an ultra wide, but I like switching between my Mac computer and my Windows computer. And if that's something that you also need to do, and you don't wanna have a ton of mice and keyboards just laying across your desk like I have had to do, unfortunately, you get something like a little switch. So this is just a little USB-C switch. It gives you two outputs. So you've got one and two, and it lets you plug in four separate devices. And all you have to do to switch between the two computers, you just press that little button. There's no power requirements. It does have external power, but I've never actually plugged this in. Uh, you just plug it in via USB-C and you can switch between your multiple computers and get everything done that way. I love that. I just like having a single monitor. I used to I used to be a dual monitor person, but recently it's just, I like everything on the one screen in front of me. And if the screen's big enough, you can segment it out into like two or three monitors by itself. And to do that efficiently, you'll need some kind of a switch. Man, I need to stop having like little fidget accessories here because I will press that button all day long. And then I always have, you see these in every single one of my accessory videos. I'm always talking about USB-C to USB-A adapters. This isn't necessarily for you, um, but a lot of times people that I work with that are not the most technically savvy, they don't necessarily know that you're gonna need something to adapt from USB-C to USB-A if all you've got is USB-A stuff in your house. So you always carry one or two of these and these will save a project meeting, I'm telling you. I'm telling you fam, these will save your life and they're only like a dollar a piece. Always carry a couple of these. One of the cool things about the Surface Laptop 4 is it has a very good battery life compared to other kind of laptops. But I have heard comments and I have seen reports that the battery life on here is not necessarily the 19 hours that Microsoft recommends. So you will probably need your charger with you whenever you're out and about and you're not just in your home. So you can just use the regular standard charger that comes with the Surface Laptop. And I actually, I don't like that it's a proprietary connection, but I actually really like that this comes with another USB-A plugged into it right here. But if you need more than just the one cable, you could also use something like this RAV Power 65 watt adapter. Now the included adapter is 65 watts, but so is this RAV Power. And you can see that it's got two USB-C for power delivery and two USB-A. So if you needed to charge up to four devices, you could do that with this. There is another cable much like this that you need to plug in for this, but you get so much more and it's almost the exact same size. It's a little wider, but it's a little shorter. If I'm going someplace and I'm bringing more than just my MacBook and my iPhone, I bring this with me from now on. This is probably one of the best chargers that I've ever owned. It's just so versatile. It's so powerful. 65 watts is nothing to sneeze at, especially when the Apple fast charger is like, what, 20 watts? This RAV power is incredible, but again, you could use the standard included charger. Now the standard included charger might be higher up on that list of things that you would wanna use if you don't necessarily need the extra outputs, because again, it's a proprietary connection and we have very few ports here. So if we're gonna use the USB-C for charging, which you can, you then probably lose that port for other things like accessories or data transfer or things like that. So you might just be stuck with the standard Microsoft Surface Laptop 4 charger. It is a good one if you are stuck with it, so it's not that bad. One of the cool things about the entire Microsoft Surface line is it does have a touch screen. I don't really use the touch screen all that much because I'm not trying to get this all smudged up and gross because I have kind of oily skin and the first time I touch a screen or something that can smudge, it will immediately smudge. But the Surface laptops have pen capability that lets you get touch screen and much more fine detail control with their like pens. Now this is a stylus with a battery in it and it gives you a lot of functionality. You can see it's got the two buttons right here that you can customize inside of the settings here. Microsoft does have their own standard pen. Uh, this is just a cheapo knockoff that I bought, but it's pretty cool. It lets you do all the touchscreen stuff without having to gross up your screen. And it's actually pretty cool and it's pretty accurate. It's not as accurate as say like my iPad, I find, uh, but it's pretty good. It's just nice to sit and draw and paint. 
We're making happy little lines here, happy little lines. So yeah, get one of the pens. You don't necessarily have to buy one of the $60 Microsoft ones. I got this for what, 25, 30 bucks. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. There's a few other things that we need to fix, quote unquote, on the Surface laptop. To get a lot of storage, it's kind of expensive. So we can always get something like a Samsung T7 solid state drive. This is my personal T7 solid state drive. You can get something like the T5 if you want a little bit cheaper, but a little bit slower. Uh, I always, always, always carry a T5 or a T7 around because you never know when you're gonna have to hand off project files to somebody. You never know when you're gonna need to take project files from somebody. I can't just be like, hey teammate, yeah, here's my laptop. Give it back to me, you copy my files, you give them to me whenever. I always have this because you never know. And if you're a video editor, like say I'm making YouTube videos, it's always good to have redundant Redundancy. If you have files that are critical, do not only save them in one spot. If you have them saved to your laptop, also save them here. If you only have one of something, you have nothing of something because when it crashes and everything does crash, you're in deep trouble. So get a solid state drive. You don't necessarily have to get this one. Get a solid state drive and back up your stuff. If you're going to use your hands and your fingers for the touchscreen, get a microfiber cloth. This is just, this isn't a Microsoft Surface laptop thing. This is an all tech stuff. Always have microfiber cloths with you. I wear sunglasses. Not If I'm outside, I'm probably wearing sunglasses. And my sunglasses, I hate when they get gross or foggy. You're wearing a mask, it fogs up and then just ugh. Clean it off. You got your laptop, clean its screen off. Always have a microfiber cloth. You can get these. This was a pack of four. I think I got for like five bucks on Amazon. So they have the brand, Elite Tech Gear. They're not sponsoring this. They didn't send this to me. I bought this myself. Always have a microfiber cloth. What else? Let's get, let's get through the rest of this. Cables. You're always gonna need cables. You gotta have your cables. Here's USB-A to USB-C. Here's USB-C to Lightning so I can charge my phone. And then whatever else you need. Okay, we got two more important things. I don't like wasting your time. I'm very excited to talk about these things. So let's hop through. Two things that make your life way better when it comes to office work. One, security of your computer. So I always use the Google Titan. If you have Google accounts, this is a very important authentication tool. So my Google account for YouTube, kind of important to me. We've grown this over the last few years. We have a revenue here. It would be very, it would hurt me very much if all of this work like were to be compromised by somebody hacking into my account. Now this, nothing sure. I'm sure if somebody wanted to hack into my account, they could eventually. Uh, but the Google Titan is something where it will only let me log into my Google account if this is plugged into my computer, or you can also set up it like on the app on your phone where you can authenticate that way. So I have this, this either needs to be plugged into my computer or I have one cell phone that's not connected to anything that I've authorized to be my authenticator. And you need to have, you gotta have some way to secure your account because they're out there. You see, I see people on YouTube at least monthly that have their accounts hacked. And I really like the Google Titan. It is a little more expensive, but you, you really can't put a price on security. And then the next thing we're gonna talk about that's also important when you have a laptop is a lot of us are doing web conferencing meetings. Audio in web conferencing meetings is very important. Now you don't necessarily have to go out and get what we've got for this video, like an XLR microphone, XLR mixer, very high end stuff. What I've actually personally used is the Rode NT USB mini microphone. This is not the clearest, like highest end microphone that I own, but this is the most used. Cause all you need is you plug it in USB-C to USB-C on your computer and you get really good audio. If you wanna monitor straight from the microphone itself, it also has a headphone jack. It's got a headphone adjust dial on here, but this is, it's just good enough quality that if you're in a meeting with a very big client, you don't wanna sound like you're in the middle of a dank basement. Like some of us, I mean, my home office is right through there. Very echoey, very low quality if I'm using the microphones from my laptop or from my phone. Get this, plug in through USB-C. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, as somebody that's on a lot of virtual conferencing meetings that deals with a lot of money, investing in something like this to have good sounding audio will impress clients and it will impress a lot of people and it doesn't cost all that much and it instantaneously, it sets itself up when you plug it in to a Mac or a Windows computer. So yeah, these are the best kind of accessories that you can get for the Microsoft Surface laptop for. If you're a fan of the Surface line, let me know in the comments below, what are some of your favorite accessories? There is a Surface dock that we didn't talk about. There are some very specific Surface accessories and if there's some more that I don't know about, I would love to hear about them. So leave me a comment below. I would love to hear what everybody else uses. And if you like this video and you are now considering maybe getting the Microsoft Surface laptop for, you can find my one week later video by clicking right here. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.